the savvy Colin Gillespie. So it's the Wildcats. Off the rip from the beginning of the game, ball on the deck, attack the rim. Well, we know that Villanova, one of the more efficient offensive teams. Holding tempo, I think, is a very important for Butler. Um, this is a team that doesn't score a lot of points last year. Top near the bottom of 16. No, I mean, they're, they're starting from scratch again. Well, it's hard to prepare for anything like this. Timer winding down and getting to the rack. Two baskets on their first two possessions. One swatted off the rim. And the second effort. As you two, once you lose a key component, via the draft or graduation. Oh, great shot right there off the dribble by Bolden. Gillespie backing down against Thompson. Sips it to the outside. And the throw down from Cole Swider. Cole Swider to get that easy two. Tie game. Efficient start. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's been a phenomenal start. Shooting wise for the Bulldogs. Bolden. Three again. <laughs> Already in the double figures. We're not even five minutes into the game. More steps back. And three's hot that utilize going inside to open up three point shooting. Eventually, Villanova caught on. But right now, Butler is getting everything they want on the offensive end. And around the horn it comes. Robinson Earl. Entry to Dixon. Four on the timer. Turns. Baby Hook is good. And Gillespie running point. And Robinson Earl rises from 18 and knocks it down. This is an unusual year. Things are going to be a lot different, so you have to try to adjust on the fly and be as prepared as you can be. Robinson Earl knocks one down from... Stepping behind the line, especially, the, you know, that catch and shoot when it swings to him. It's Chuck Harris, the freshman. Nice move from Harris. And gets Aaron, and they know that Aaron, even his high school career, if you go back to where he's from, and beautiful passing of having the leadership from Thompson. Same can be said for Gillespie right. on this Villanova team. Nice pass to find Robinson Earl. It's 2020. Adjust to it, and be, things will be fine. Entry to Moore here. Oh, what a move by Moore. And he knocks down the three. Two in Big East play for Villanova. A little zone defense right here. Just like a 2 3 zone by Villanova. Justin Moore fades away. Uh, can't hit. The pace is kind of slowed down. Gillespie knocks it down for the top of the arc. So the Bulldogs have dried up offensively. Two plus minutes without a point. And Villanova extends the lead on a three by Caleb Daniel. Throw attempts against Western Michigan. And Harris slicing to the rim, couldn't get it to go. The putback goes. Cats already equaled his total in his Butler debut off the bench. Pulls with four points. Wow. Jermaine Samuels somehow kept his pivot foot. And the Jay Wright team kind of get through early on. They win games, but really not into their rhythm yet. Oh, Kenzie cleans up the mess underneath. Slater. Jermaine Samuels. He attacks and scores. You came out the gate. You felt good about yourself. You got down. You know, it, you know, one or two points doesn't seem like a lot, but mentally it really does. If you're able to get this lead down just like that, tells of their constant movement. Daniels slicing through the D and finishes with the left hand. Nine point deficit. Could have been double digits. Three seconds. Thompson driving. Gets it to go. Habit of a lot of players to try to strip the ball down low. Good discipline. Thompson. That's a tough oh, shot. The drop goes. Coach one. No doubt. Daniels short from three. Rebound juggled by Coles and then thrown down by Robinson Earl. Yes. And Aaron Thompson coming off the pick. A reset. Bolden mm. sit down from three. Think about Eric Dixon, the 6'8. Able to clear enough space to get a clean look at it and knock it in. Robinson.
Jackson Earl with the answer. Villanova has the rebound. Moore driving left to the lane. Scoops it in. It's a three from Chuck Harris. No. Offensive board. Wilmoth, and he's right there. The Independent Schools Athlete of the Year in high school in Rhode Island. Yeah, Robinson Earl connects from three. Free oh, I'll give you an example. In the NBA, during the All-Star break, you may be off three or four days, and when you get back to that first practice, you feel like you don't have rhythm. And speaking of rhythm... And the lead is nine for Villanova. Kenzie going to work underneath. Side of the backboard. Might have been altered by Jermaine Samuels defensively. Here's Gillespie circling. Nice dish. And one for Jermaine Samuels. This Butler team, very young group. Bolden, senior transfer coming in. The fresh faces here, including Wilmoth. Count it. And a foul. Swings it out to Swider. No. Thompson the rebound. Numbers for Butler if they want to push. Harris a three. Yes. Speed up shoulders. Let it go. Not in the big time three. Now you're down only six points. See if you can get a defensive stop. That's uh, too <laughs> easy for Daniels. Look at Colin. Yes. Hustle there on Enzi. Slap it away. Gillespie certainly forced yes. that turnover. And there's Daniels who didn't have to go very far. Gillespie. Boy, he had... And when Colin has the ball like that, you got to be up on that screen to contest that shot. Thompson. He's, he's going to be a one-man. Vince zipping it. The Thompson. The baseline. Wow. What a finish. Uh -oh. You know, very quickly. So with Thompson out, how does that impact the Butler rotation right away? Gillespie was there to kind of come over and collapse defensively to kind of take or even contest that shot at the end. Harris a three. That swirls in. Full favor them to win the Big East regular season. Daniels to Gillespie. Got it from three. And smell it now for a 2-0 start. They've won eight straight conference home openers, and there's the exclamation point from Justin Moore. Again, another <laughs> step, but that's what you need, though. You want a stern test to see oh, no doubt. your retention on what you need to do. Now, hopefully, you got you get some outstanding news that a lot of guys got involved in the scoring. Which is okay. Yep. Now it'll be nine straight conference home openers. And for Jay Wright, his 600th career win as a head coach. Villanova takes this one 85-66.